Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Well, many of us are used to free checking, but some big bank users are facing a difficult choice, pay up or switch banks, all because of changes in the fine print. Morning Insider Lauren Victory introduces us to one unhappy customer who brought her concerns to CBS2. A fresh-faced Jill Bajoric started college with her first bank account. It was a very available uh, bank, lots of branches everywhere. Chase Bank served her well for 18 years. Then this email came in August telling her, you'll now have a monthly service fee of $12. The ways to waive it, a $1,500 account minimum, or set up a $500 direct deposit. Problem is, some people don't use direct deposit. That's not something you can choose to have if your job doesn't offer that. Uh, so myself, I'm an independent contractor. I'm a psychotherapist. Um, on my own doing my dream job. But a dream job that pays at random times. The psychotherapist thinks of some patients who are struggling gig workers. It's already difficult with inconsistent income, but now they're incurring a fee. How unique is that approach that Chase is taking? Well, let me, let me back up a little bit. Teresa Murray is a consumer watchdog for the Public Interest Research Group. I don't necessarily know if this is popular with a lot of people, but you know, some folks think it's their God-given right to have a free checking account. Banks have expenses, she explains, to keep branches open, to process checks, to enable online transactions, and most importantly, to keep our money safe. The concept of quote-unquote free checking only got popular in the past 20 years. Now fees are creeping back. It certainly affects people who may, frankly, be living paycheck to paycheck, which from some surveys is about half the country. Chase tells us nearly 90% of customers are able to avoid the $12 a month. Since Bajoric says she them. can't, we asked why she doesn't just switch banks. 18 years of an account, I have a lot of bills attached to this account. It'd be a headache and homework to find somewhere new. To shop around. But not impossible. There are banks that do still offer no fee checking accounts. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Now, Chase Bank stresses the direct deposit needed to waive that monthly fee doesn't need to be from an employer. Payments to rideshare and food delivery drivers also qualify. Government benefits do, too. For more stories like this, download our new CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.